Hey ladies, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to do an initial review thoughts on this CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Foundation. Now I've had this in my possession for about a week now. I picked it up last Saturday along with those Fergie products. I got it from Walgreens on sale for $6.99. The regular price in my store was $8.99 and it has one fluid ounce in there. The color I have is 320 Soft Sable. There were 12 shades. Soft Sable is the deepest shade that was available. It actually matches my skin tone pretty well. Um, the foundation claims to provide a one simple step for a flawless natural look that lasts all day. The formula blends in easily to even out skin tone, reduce shine all day. Now, what I will say is that it did blend in very, very easy. The consistency is a liquid. I know in this tube, you would think it's like a, a BB cream, but it's not as thick as other BB creams. It's, um, it's like a liquid. And it's not that runny. See, the color is very pretty. And it does blend in very, very easy. So, that's how it blends in. You get a light to medium coverage with a semi-matte finish. It does help to fill pores and refine the pores and fine lines on your face. And it doesn't have any brightening particles to it but it does make your skin look really healthy and fresh so it does offer a very fresh complexion like they claim i really will say it does that now i worn this three times as far as lasting all day it lasted for about six hours for me which i think is pretty good for a 6.99 8.99 foundation claim to last all day of course you know you're not going to get 12 to 14 hour wear out of it so Six hours with no blotting was pretty good. Now, because it said one simple step, I also did not use this with setting powder or an additional um, primer. What I used it with was the CoverGirl True Magic Perfector, and it worked really, really well with that. So I was really pleased with the six hours that I got without a lot of oil seeping through. Um, the downside to this is that I think I had to use a little bit more than normal. So $6.99 for this, I probably would go through this too fairly easy because I did have to kind of apply more than I would have expected. Probably because the consistency is so thin that it just blends really easy and you have to kind of go on top of it a little bit more to get that that natural looking coverage because without with just one light layer, you really still see a lot of your blemishes and stuff coming through. So that's the only downfall that I have about this. Other than that, I think it did really good at controlling the shine and lasting. I think the color match was perfect. Although I wish it was a shade like in between because the next color down is really light. So I wish it was a shade in between. At least on the deeper end. I wish they would start offering at least three deeper shades. You know, on the and then on the paler end, the colors tend to be a little bit more yellow so if you're really pale it's still you're still kind of off with this other than that i think it was a very good product i was very surprised by this and how it lasted and controlled the oil with me not using any setting powders or any other primers oil controlling mattifying primers now the reason i chose not to do that is because um it has a really it's a semi-matte finish but it's a dry formula once it's blending into the skin and it sets, it sets really dry. You can actually feel it kind of tightening your face to help give you that more youthful look. So with powders on top of this and thick primers underneath it, it will make this foundation look too cakey. So I chose to just stay away from everything else and try to use as less products as much on my skin with this. And that works out pretty, pretty well. As you can see on my hand, it smoothed my hand out fairly well and blended in really really nice so um this gets a thumbs up for me i really don't have nothing bad to say about this i'm actually like i said very surprised and i probably will pick up another one just because covergirl is seeing stuff to big lots and stuff all the time they really because they really clearance out their products fairly easy and so far i'm liking this i think it will be really quick simple 
foundation for a no makeup look that's inexpensive that you can pop on every day. If you have a lot of problem skin, problem, if you have problematic skin with a lot of blemishes and dark spots, you might not get the type of coverage that you need from this. You can stick to like a thicker BB cream. The um finish, the weight of this is really, really light. It's not heavy. It's not cakey. It does just make your skin feel a little tight. So yeah, pretty good. Now, the powder, I left that there because it was just way too light. The powder claims to fit tones 315 through 20, just like this concealer did. And this is what the concealer looks like. And that's the same color that the powder looked. It was completely too ashy for my skin and nothing I can do with that. This concealer is also too light to apply, apply on top of this foundation. Now, what I can do with this is apply it up under the foundation on top of my um, pure orange color corrector, and it worked fairly well. Now, this claims to hide, conceal dark circles and imperfections on an instant. Now, if this was a shade deep, this would be a very good concealer. The consistency is not too thick, not too thin, blends in very easy, and dries also to a semi-matte finish it also has that property that's making it make your skin feel a little tighter and so under my eyes it's working out pretty pretty well on top of the color corrector and up under the foundation so i kind of did like a reverse highlighting with this and so far i like it for that purpose it was also pretty good on the eyebrows if you know how to work with this type of liquid formula for your eyes but the color could have been a little bit darker. This would I for some reason I want to say this concealer costs more than that foundation. I think that foundation was six six ninety nine and this was seven ninety nine, or maybe this might have been five ninety nine. So somewhere between five and eight dollars. Not a bad price for this, and you get uh thirty ounce point three seven fluid ounces in this. Pretty bad, pretty good for that. Like I said, this says deep. It's not deep enough to really work on this on. Um, but doing a reverse highlighting, it did pretty well. Because my circles under my eye are really dark right now because I'm trying to get sick. And it's concealing it pretty good. This is all I have on my face. Just these three products. And it's set with the Ben Nye Final Seal. And this is the finished results. Just a simple, no makeup makeup look and for the price especially if you have coupons or buy one get one half off i think it's worth picking up and trying if you can fit into the color range that is provided from covergirl now the last things that i picked up were the colorlicious lip glosses i showed this in the previous haul these look so pigmented and beautiful in the tubes but on my pigmented lips they are very sheer what they do offer is a lightweight moisturizing non-tacky type of feel that offers a lot of high shine this color right here is called pink alicious and this is what i have on now so on these um thick old lips that are very pigmented it didn't do much at all but add a nice shine to it but it's so lightweight i would have returned these had i not lost my receipt plus i like the fact that they are very lightweight kind of reminds me of this except you get a little bit more color from the all may bombs but it offers that very lightweight feel 7.99 was the price for these a tad bit too high for what it's offering so if you want something that's just lightweight that would give you a shine for eight bucks then this would be a good choice. If you have lips that aren't so pigmented, you might get a better color payoff. But if you have dark lips and want more color, then I would say leave these in the store. Unless you can get them for like $3 with a coupon, then they worth it. But other than that, these ain't worth $8 at all for what the coverage that you're getting from them. So those are my thoughts on these new CoverGirl products that you can find at your local Walgreens. It's the only place that I've seen them so far. And as far as the foundation goes, I like this foundation. I really, really do. I think it's not bad for a drugstore foundation. The only thing that's weird, like I said, is I'm getting a tight feel from it. Like my face feels dry and more like it's tighter. And so for dry skin, 
This might not be the it, it might not be the best for you. This might just be an oily girl product. Dry skin, you would really have to put this on top of a moisturizer or mix an illuminator with it to just help it um get a little bit more moisture to it because it is drying. And as the day goes on and the more your oils try to seep through, you can feel it drying. So I see it working to control the oil. So yeah, those are my thoughts on this product. Um, thank you guys for watching this first impression, initial review. I've tried it out for three days and so far I have nothing bad to say about it. So enjoy the rest of your weekend and stay blessed.